Joe Cardinelli here to discuss the hot topic, the static weights in a symmetrical ball really affect ball motion. With the use of Throwbot and Specto's advanced ball tracking system, we are able to give an unbiased data analysis of today's high performance bowling balls. The bowler specs we chose are fairly typical, all thrown on a typical house shot seen every day in every town USA. We took our most popular symmetrical ball, the Intel, and drilled it dramatically different. One positive, the other negative. Putting the pin in the exact same spot. We varied our shot sequence per an accepted scientific method. This assures that both balls are thrown equally as the lane pattern changed. The graph of all the shots show no difference in ball motion to the breakpoint and only a slight difference from the breakpoint through the pins. The data shows that even with such a radical shift in ending static weights, the average for each ball was the following. Total hook. There was a total hook difference of four tenths of a board. That's almost immeasurable. Same goes for the hook power, which the total boards covered from the true break point. Both balls were within one tenth of a board. The entry angle showed seven tenths of a degree difference and the pin deck exit boards were within three quarters of a board. Our overall conclusion is that the pin placement in a symmetrical ball will dictate ball motion. And the static weights after drilling have little to no impact on the ball motion. So when dealing with the new USB-C rules, remember, symmetrical balls, CG placement, and static weights don't matter. Get the pin in the right spot to get the desired ball motion you need. Radical Bowling, we are the technical company. Wow, that's radical.